In the Central African Republic, the Constitutional Court on Monday confirmed Faustar Conchtoidera's victory in the presidential election last month despite a voter turnout, which was little more than a third, due to suppression by a coalition of armed groups. The candidate Fustin Arkansh Wadera, having obtained an absolute majority of the votes validity cast, is declared elected in the first round president of the republic. Tuadera supporters in the capital Bangui rejoiced over his re-election for a second term, despite the rebels' attempt at hindering the vote. Very happy with the re-election of the head of state, Mr. Tuadera. He is a man who has started to do well, and we think he will continue to do well until the last moment. You see what's happening. The people are with him, despite the rebels, despite the CPC. The president has been re-elected. So congratulations to Tuadera. Thank you very much, and good luck to him. We are already living with this fear. The fact that they wanted to boycott, they wanted to hinder this election and we stood our ground. The fear is there, but we are Central Africans and proud of it. This country belongs to us. It is not the country of a single individual. It is a country of all Central Africans and the head of state, as the supreme head of the armies, as the first authority of this country, can take its responsibilities so that peace can return and people can live in this peace. President Faustin Conchtoidera on Monday greeted his supporters after the court's verdict, saying that those who tried to prevent the vote from taking place had failed. Should those who have prevented Central Africans from exercising their civic duty, who have prevented Central Africans from choosing their leaders, have been proven right? Should we agree with them? I do not think so. The process has not been easy. There have been many challenges, together with the international community, but also the Central African people who have shown their capacity, resilience and willingness to say no to violence, to the seizure of power by force of arms, and challenged all those who, through intimidation and violence, prevented them from carrying out their duties. Meanwhile, rebel groups killed two peacekeepers in the Central African Republic on Monday, according to the United Nations peacekeeping mission in the country, only a few hours after the Constitutional Court confirmed Tuadera's re-election.